What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video and today we're going to be doing some foot shadow tutorials. So this is something most requested, you know, you've all been asking for it and you know, I wanted to show you guys because it's something that's very important in football design as well, any sports design or any design really to be honest, uh, it's very important you get these right otherwise it will just make your design, you know, all that hard work you put in it will just make it look a little bit bad, like rubbish. So I really wanted to show you how I do my foot shadows just so you can get a better idea of how to do it. Uh, without further ado, thank you for all the support in, you know, the recent videos and everything and of course the discord and the patreon obviously links down below if you want to get involved with that uh, but without further ado let's get straight into the video So guys, first things first, we're going to uh, get our design. So we've got an image of Ma uh, Martinelli here. So we're going to be editing him first. But I just wanted to quickly run through some of the projects that I've done just to give you a quick example of how I've done them. So here, as you can see, I've sort of got like a solid grounding for his foot shadows here for LeBron. Um, I've also painted a little bit black on his foot as well. This also just gives you a better connection with the floor. So if you've got black on the floor and then a little bit black on the shoes, it sort of blends it all in together and makes it a, more of a seamless transition and actually makes it look like he's sat on top of the design so that is what i did for the lebron one basically painted on the bottom of his shoe and then painted a little bit around the area of where he's gonna be and uh yeah that gave me this really nice connection with the design second one is going to be mason mount so this one's more about direction so as you can see here you know the lighting's going across him now same with the shadows you want them to go the same way as the lighting so that way sorry i <laughs> didn't mean to hit the mic um and uh, yeah, so it's going to be going the same way as the lighting. So here you've got a nice little dot, which is the center focus of where the connection is. Again, with the dark to the, you know, seamless transition, we've got a nice little faded out bit going on here. So when you've got that faded out bit going on, it's obviously going to be that the idea is it's going to replicate the shoe. So it's going to be going across to the floor like that. And it just makes it look a little bit more, you know, realistic. Same with the ball here, black connection on the floor, going across, you know, imitating the shadow of the ball. So that's that one. Um, and then for the last one, we're going to have this Cooper Cup one. So this is one he's jumping in the air. I thought this one was a really cool image to use. Um, but again, so here we've got the center focus, which is going to be the, you know, the connection he's going to make with the floor when he lands. That would obviously get bigger as he got closer to the floor. And then a nice little faded out bit going on here, which is going to be the rest of the foot, which is going to be the shadow that's going across the design. So these are little things that you need to learn. You need to look at other people's designs see how they do their foot shadows basically understand the lighting techniques and the composition the way they balanced it all these different types of things um, and then you need to practice working on your own foot shadows so I use a set of brushes as well as my own brushes for this so I'm going to show you both techniques today and hopefully that will give you a better idea of how people actually work on their foot shadows because foot shadows are really are a key thing for design and they really do you know sell the design you know if it, if it looks like it's just a black circle on the floor it really doesn't look very good so you want to make sure that you get it right so that is what this video is all about hopefully you've understood a little bit of the lighting techniques that I'm on about here uh, with all these free designs now I'm just going to close these quickly and then we're just going to crack on with our foot shadows for this design don't get me wrong this image isn't perfect by any means um, and it's going to look a little bit odd because there's no design in the background we can't really balance it off anything but i just wanted to give you a quick rundown of how i place my foot shadows so a few moments later let's crack on with that so what would i do first first things first i would create a new layer underneath martinelli so we've got a new layer underneath him let's set that to multiply so what we're going to set that to multiply for it's going to make it darker so anything we paint that's dark colored it's going to make it even darker because it's set to multiply and it's going to blend it better with the floor so what we're going to do first we're going to get our soft brush tool so it's going to be down here soft brush or wherever your brushes are and then we're going to go to this little uh, setting here which is going to be the brush settings and this is where you get all these different you know settings color dynamics all different types of things like this and you just want to focus on this circle here so this circle with the arrow is going to be the main focus of the design and we're going to just select one of these points on the side and just pull it in so when we pull it in it just makes the brush a lot thinner so you want to try and get it as thin as possible and then go back over to your page here and now you can see a really thin brush so that's great got our thin brush set up that's fine now you can minimize that make it bigger whatever you want to do you're going to make it quite small anyway for this part of the design anyway so i'd make it quite small um, and then you've got a nice little black circle going on so we've got to set our layer to multiply uh, we've got our brush now we're just going to set the opacity to 30 percent because we don't want to overpower these foot shadows obviously you can play around with them once you go on but to begin with, I'm going to do it very simply. So what you want to do is first do the initial connection. So that's number one. It's going to be initial connection with the floor. And then we're just going to go in and we're just going to make, just keep clicking, make a nice, strong connection with the floor. Now you want this, the closest 
to the to the actual item or the foot ball whatever whatever it is you want the closest point to the floor to be black so that's going to be the darkest point and then as it gradually pulls out it's going to get faded like more lighter and lighter so that's just basically how lighting works so this is just something you need to work on and actually test out yourself so there we go now if i go off this you can't really see it i know it's good though we have got a connection there and same again with the foot over here so let's go across here now you're probably going to see this a little bit more because it is a white background uh, but just just as an example for you guys i have to show it you like this just because it's so simple uh, uh, and then I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger, fade these shadows out a little bit more. And then here we've got a, sort of a dropping foot, I guess you could say. So we could do that. So something like that. But it doesn't look very good. So sometimes I tend to just leave that foot out on the designs like this and sort of just focus on the ball and the one that's actually planted on the floor, the foot. So uh, yeah, I just think it sometimes works better like that. But you know, obviously you can put a dot there if you want. Just make sure you judge the right distance from the floor. Otherwise you're gonna look a little bit odd. So there's our first connection done. Done that, that's the first foot shadow. So I'm gonna reduce this to about 80% just because I don't want it to be too overpowering when we add the rest of the brushes. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another new layer. So new layer and I'm gonna clip him out this to the render that we've got so make sure you clip and mask it so right click uh well, it says release clipping mask but it'll say clipping mask click that and then we've got the clipping mask on martinelli so now that we've got the uh clipping mask on martinelli what we're going to do is we're going to get a normal brush now so we're going to click soft brush again get a nice circular brush and make sure you're still on 30 percent opacity and this is what i was on about now this is going to be the black connection which is going to be on the render connecting with the floor so here you obviously can see the dark bits so you just want to just sort of emphasize those a little bit more just go in paint your nice little dark bits on the bottom make sure you emphasize it a little bit and don't worry we're going to change the opacity and everything so you don't need to focus on this like you don't need to worry about how dark it is really to begin with but you just want to make sure you've got a nice little connection because otherwise you're just going to have something which doesn't transition very well um, and it's just going to look you know a little bit basic like i see some of the ones in my discord they just don't I, I know everyone's learning and everything, but it just if they would have got the foot shadows right, it would look so much better. So let's just go off that. So to begin with, that's going to be quite good. We've got a nice little black on here, black on the foot. That's nice. So we can zoom out now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to again change this to multiply. And I'm just going to reduce this down to probably about probably about 60. Turn that on and off. Again, you can see it's a nice, really nice connection going on. Okay, so that's good. So all that's done. Don't need to worry about that no more. Uh, and now we're going to make one more new layer. This is going to be below the rest of them. So put this below and set this to multiply as well. And this time we're going to go back to our nice thin brush that we created. So it's going to be in your recent brushes. And we're going to make it a little bit bigger this time. So obviously we've got it on 30%. So this is going to be the more gradual foot shadow. So this is going to be the one that fades out a lot more. So we're going to go in, sort of get one around here. And we're just going to click like that. Then we're going to click again. And maybe one more time. Same again with the foot, foot here. I'm just going to click three times. Okay, so now we've got a nice little thin foot shadow. Obviously, we can click again to make it right. Nice connection in the middle there. And then we're just going to fade that out a little bit. Probably about 40%. Maybe a little bit more. You can click a few more times if you think you need more foot shadows. But to begin with, that's really nice. So that that's all done now. So you've got your foot shadows done. So let's just say we uh, go and draw some, I don't know, a red shape going through the middle of the design. Like so. Uh, change that to red okay there you go it's a little bit you know it's not perfect but this is where the other brushes are going to come in handy so you can make this a little bit darker if you feel like you need to and the same same with this one to be honest you can you can play around with them and make them how you want them to be and then obviously you can add layer mass to these and sort of paint away bits of the shadow that you don't like you know just just play around with it and, and make sure you just work it into your design because obviously everyone's going to have different poses on their images but just getting to make sure that it's as dark as possible it's going to be key so that's good i'm just going to make sure that i go in here where the and select the darker layer so this is going to be the darker layer which is going to be the really strong connection here and i'm just going to make sure that i um uh, let's just select back again make that one a little bit darker just so it you know it's a little bit more you know impressive i guess you could say or like just actually there it's a little bit hard to see at the moment so there you go okay so there you go guys that's a really basic um idea of foot shadows you know this is how you would create your own brushes and make them really thin and simple again like i said make a layer mask go into the design sort of paint bits out make them how you want them to be uh, and just make make it follow the lighting you know you, you want to make sure that it follows the lighting of the image so something like that would look really nice that looks really good and make sure that you get rid of it on this side again i'm going to select a layer mask here 
get rid of that a little bit more. And now, now that we've added these layer masks and sort of just painted bits out, it's following the lighting. See, the lighting's going across and the shadows are going across. Maybe you could change the angle a little bit, but for a, for a beginner idea, that is perfect. You know, it's showing exactly what you need it to show. And when you add the camera filter in the background, everything, it gets a little bit more, you know, interesting. But as you can see here, with this, just adding this red layer, we've already got a really nice composition. So that is the basic idea of foot shadows. Now I'm just gonna go and duplicate this. Uh, I'm just gonna group that one, turn it off. Let's just group it, turn it off. And then we are going to just do a, another quick one. So these are gonna be some different brushes that I've, um, I've acquired. They are from a YouTube video. I will link it down below. These are somebody who made these brushes. I think it's called Dean or Dan or something like that. Um, but they are really, really good brushes. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how to use them. Okay, so you have brushes here. These are gonna be uh, ball shadow. You've got three different ball shadows, three different foot shadows, and then some elevated uh, leg foot shadows. To start with, we can start with the ball shadows. Um, you can test these out, obviously. Put these to 100% for these, because you wanna play around with these. Uh, and then make it a little bit smaller. You've got your ball shadow. Now this is obviously gonna be where you make the really strong connection like I was talking about before you can make that really strong that's that's good uh, set it to multiply obviously set the opacity to what you want it to be and then again we're still gonna need to add our own layer so we're gonna get a soft brush clip and mask it to it you know paint our little bit in you know and then set that to multiply as well and fade it out a little bit maybe set it to 70 that's good um, and then we've got his brushes which have done a really nice job there Okay, can you see it's just a little bit more faded out than just the shape of them and the way you set them up. You know, they are work, they are set up for this type of thing. So these brushes are really good and they save you a lot of time. So that, that one looks really good. And then for the foot shadow one, we're probably gonna have to do the same. So I'm just gonna quickly paint on here just so we don't have to do that again, just to save your time. Uh, we've got that one there. Maybe it's kind of hard because it's such a light foot, but we'll, we if I was doing this properly, I would, you know, reset the exposure and everything, but don't worry about that. So when you've got these brushes installed, we're gonna go to foot shadow. And we're going to create a new layer, multiply. So let's just test these out. Let's just see what they look like. So we've got one that looks like that, one that looks like that, and then one that looks uh, like that. So it's going the other way. Okay, so let's select number three. Make it a little bit smaller. Okay, so that one's going that way. So we can zoom out a little bit just so you can see the brushes. Um, and then we can just make sure that we get something quite nice. There we go. So this is going to be very, like, basic i'm doing this really quick just to show you guys but as a basic idea you can sort of see where i'm going with this it's kind of hard to uh hard to do very quickly but you know i'm just going to use all of them and then i'm going to select a layer mask and uh, go get a soft brush again so this is what i do with all my foot shadows to be honest guys i'm just going to get a soft brush and i'm just going to sort of paint away the bits that i think don't need to be there let's go get that one now you have a little bit around here just sort of direct them okay that's really nice. Nice little bit of direction, there we go. Now you can do the same again with the ball one. Same again. Don't need to worry too much about the ball one, but that's good. Okay, so that gives you a little bit of another idea of how to use you know, foot shadow brushes. Now these will be in the link down below. There will be a video and you can go download them from his video because I'm not taking credit for his brushes. They are amazing, they really do make a difference, but you know, you've got my way as well, which again is a little bit simpler, but you know, if you wanna, advance your skills, learn my one first, then go and take his ones, develop them, and then sort of merge them both together, which is what I do. So hopefully you have, you know, learned something from this, guys. I know there's a lot of people who wanted this video, and I know that it's something that you need to get right for your designs. So that is why I'm bringing it to you today. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Make sure to check out all the other recent videos, and I'll see you next time.